reflections of a plain spotter. Relaxing in my garden with a fresh coffee in my favourite mug. The dog at my feet nudging my hand, fighting for attention with the cats. The sound of a plane passing overhead makes my head turn to the sky. Whether it's from the local flying school or an airline that's soaring high. Where are those jets going and from which far-flung country? Wondering who's on board, a little jealous that it's not me. I begin to think back to my own trips abroad, the friends I've travelled with and the places explored. In my driver's team at work, I had instructor Chris. I'm always boss and he will forever be number one. A few of us went to Germany to eat, drink and watch planes. Their heads were burning, so I bought them some hats. The ones I chose were quintessentially German. They looked like prize Burks, but reluctantly they wore them. Another friend of mine, one of many Steves, goes by the name Whippy, but I'm not sure why. Playboy lifestyle, he lives his life to the full. Fast cars and foreign holidays, he travels at will. He would never bring his flash cars to show us at work. The smallest of speed bumps, too much of a hill. At Shenfield in Essex were Loopy Len and Mrs Loop. Len worked on the platform while Sue announced the trains. The fun we had attempting to distract her at work. Pulling faces and making her forget all her words. When we finally got her, she gave a wicked guffaw. Now every time I hear a bing bong, it reminds me of Sue. Last but not least is patent pending Stan, the inventor of everything and a fearsome man. Night shifts on the railway, fueling the trains. Smashing beer like fists on the table when he lost at card games. Without Stan there would be no tables, no cards, no fuel. There would be no trains either, as I'm sure he invented those two.